One thing I see when we're out there, guys, uh, is that a lot of people, you know, it's like from top, uh, everyone talks about pressure, pressure, pressure. So uh, when I get his butt up his heels, I actually don't like to push it anymore. I think that it makes you vulnerable if he, if he rolls, if he sits out, anything like that. Uh, I think it makes you vulnerable. So once I get him forward here, uh, I just want to keep weight on his hand so all my weight's going down. All right, and that's where it's focused on going the whole time is pushing through his hands. Uh, there's weight on his hands, there's no way he's standing up. All right, there's weight on his hands, they're easy targets, I can attack whenever I want. All right, his hands start lifting up, that's when he can hand fight and give me problems. So as I thigh pry float here, I, all, all my weight should drape down here. All right, so I'm floating on top of him. All right, so not forward here, I don't keep pressure. Um, I'm just going down here and I'm attacking hands. So one last feeling is from a sit out. So if this guy sits out, right, so a lot of people do this, right? You guys do this, you guys probably do follow drills too, right? All right, so again, my, my first statement, I, I don't like being a reactionary, so if I push into him, this guy's governing where we're going here, um, he's in the driver's seat. But so as he floats off here, rather than having my chest here so he can get what? What do you get when, when, when the guy's pushing back here? Huh? This guy, what does he get? Where are your coaches? Yeah, back pressure. Right? Everyone's like, go, oh, get back pressure, get back pressure, which is good, it's a good idea, right? And so for me, my whole focus is breaking his posture. So he sits out here, um, I'll sit out over here, right? But so um, now he goes back pressure, all right, good, and, and this stuff is available. So I float my chest up, so rather than being here because I'm on my feet, all I do here, so slow, here as he goes here, so he's sitting, all right, he's here, and I go bang, and I bring my chest up. So now my chest is up though, I can bring his head down. All right, I bring my knees wide and around him. So now if he tries to sit out, turn one way, all right, I'm kind of controlling him. So two options here. All right, one, if you guys don't like riding from this situation, you really just want to ride him, I'll go like five high and one, and I'll kneel over. All right, but so now Sam's only got one direction he can go. He turns into me, he's gonna go to his back, he turns away from me. All right, now I get him on his, on his belly, all right? Or option number two, and so it's sneaky, so it's again here, all right? I'm locking cradle. I can't turn this yet though, all right? Because here he'd slip his head out, all right? So I go hurdler, and always these guys try to like buck their heads up, all right? When they do, my elbows slide, and now I can take them back slow. So I have to like shift uh, elbow and elbow to back and head and back and knee. Floats. All right, sucking it in. So I'll step knee over and turn him down. Or I'll wrestle chest on top and I'll lock. But again, you see where my elbows are here. So when I float off, all right, my arms can slide, my legs back, and I can bring it backwards. Questions? Let's play one, two, three.